با میکنم باز به فارسی هم همی این برنامه را می داشته باشم این برنامه را و برنامه را که سبا با انگلیسی میکشم شما باید که زیاد شریک کنین البته این برنامه های ما بر ساتری نیست اینا بخش تاریخ از مملکت ما هستند بر اولاد آینده مملکت است ما و شما پدرای ما ای کار نکده بودن ما باختیم در چل, چل چند سال به این که ما بر اولادای خود بکنیم One of the Afghanistan's high ranking military officer contacted me a few times after Ashraf Ghani fled Afghanistan and he said or he claimed that Ashraf Ghani fled the palace all the way to Kabul airport in Burqa a blue Burqa I didn't take it in the beginning because in Afghanistan it's very common people make joke about the people that they don't like so I said no it is impossible a few days later Ashraf Ghani released the press or kind of an interview when I listened to him I thought that maybe maybe that military officer was telling me the truth and lately after he did his interview with BBC radio I tried to put the pieces of the puzzle together to see if it makes sense or not and then I realized that Ghani himself kind of was saying that but we didn't notice listen to him من به گونه از افغانستان خارج ساخته شدم که حتی فرصت نیافتم تا چپلی هایم را از پاهایم بیرون کرده و بوتهایم را بپوشم I was taken out of Afghanistan or, he, or in a way he was forced out of Afghanistan in a way that he didn't or he was not given a chance to take his slippers out and put his boots on or his shoes on it happened that suddenly a president of a country with 350,000 soldiers at least 10,000 soldiers around his palace and he was not given 30 seconds to take his slippers out and put his shoes well why listen to him دقایی که بعد از این که من مجبور ساخته شدم تا از کابل برایم طالبان و چهره های ناشناس که به زبان های کشور ما بلد نبودند وارد ارک شدند as soon as he claims that i was forced out of the palace taliban and some unknown agents entered the palace they were not speaking our national languages like Pashto and Dari in these languages indirectly he is kind of blaming Pakistan he probably means they were speaking Urdu but anyway how did he know that he probably was still somewhere listening to the Taliban entering the palace so if Taliban suddenly entered the palace what was his options and he in his inter interviewer this press release he claimed that they were there to capture me just like Dr. Najib 20 years ago or 25 years ago something and hang me that's me mean good که آنچه 25 سال قبل در افغانستان رخ داده بود تکرار شود. So he was so scared as Taliban were entering the palace. Now, what was the option for him? How he could leave the palace in a car or airplane? So the only way he could leave was to put on a burqa. 
according to my source, there was a lady which was working in the kitchen. She got the um, order to put her burqa and give one to Ashraf Ghani. And as they were leaving the palace, the security people or he, his security guards noticed that Ashraf Ghani had his shoes. According to my source, he had time to take his slipper out and put the shoes on. 10, 15 seconds. But the security guard said, no, you cannot leave in Burka with those shoes. Because as you walk in the streets, people will notice that there is a man in this burqa. And those days, a man in burqa meant a suicide bomber. Then people will shout that, oh, uh, suicide bomber, suicide bomber, intihari, intihari, and they will stone you there. So you better change those shoes and put on a slipper. He had, according to my source, a chapli, we call it Peshawuri chapli. But they didn't let him to put even that one on. So as they were looking, they came up with something bizarre and they said, you need to put uh, Rolaghani's uh, uh, sh shoes or something, but that didn't fit him. So there was Rolaghani's slipper. It was a smaller, but Ghani put his sh foot in those, put the burqa on, and he left the palace. While Taliban were coming in, Taliban didn't notice that those two ladies or one of those two ladies which they were leaving the palace was Ashraf Ghani. But my source said what was so funny about Ghani that as he was walking the streets, he started to limp. So don't just kind of to confuse people, nobody would think that, oh, this might be Ashraf Ghani. He started walking fast, but he was limping. So, according to my source, Ghani walked for about two kilometers. Then they sat in a taxi. He went all the way to the airport with that lady. Some people say that he fled Afghanistan with a lot of money. My source says that he didn't have any money. And what he left, when he left the taxi, there was a little bag, not a box full of the money. Because in the beginning, there was a piece of news that he had two luggages full of dollar. But no, he didn't, and he couldn't take both of them to the airport, so he left one in the corner of the street full of money. But no, he just left one little package, which was the burqa and the slipper, Rolaghani slipper, and then he put his shoes. They were at the airport. The soldiers recognized, let him go the, uh, enter the airport. And that the airport, Muheb, and Fazli joined him. They sit in helicopter and fled Afghanistan. So it makes sense. Listen to him again. <laughs> Taliban, as they were entering the Arg, the palace, there was no resistance again against them by Afghan soldiers. So at Imagine at that time a president, Taliban are entering the, uh, the palace and he is still there. Listen to him again.
پیدا کنه. They were going room to room <laughs> to find Ashraf Ghani as he was there. Imagine, my source said that when they first told him to put a burqa on and flood with burqa, he hesitated. He said, no, I'm not going to do that. It is shameful for Afghan men to put a burqa on. But it happens. Sometimes people use that burqa, man. So he noticed that there was no other option. Taliban were, were going in the palace room to room to find him. And as they were going room to room, they were speaking. He was hearing them. Listen. <laughs> که من مجبور ساخته شدم تا از کابل برایم طالبان و چهره های ناشناس که به زبان های کشور ما بلد نبودن وارد ارک شدن They were speaking in a language that was not one of the Afghanistan's languages so there are enough reasons for me to believe that this hero fled the palace all the way to the airport in a burqa. I have some more information which I'm going to release it in a couple days. Thank you.